Hi everyone, welcome to this Make and Medic tutorial. Today we're going to talk about acute kidney injury. So acute kidney injury is a very common complication on medical wards and it's important to understand what can cause AKI and how it can be treated. So firstly let's look at the actual definition of acute kidney injury. So it's defined as an abrupt loss of kidney function resulting in dysregulation of fluid balance and electrolytes and the retention of nitrogenous waste products. So if you just think about what the normal functions of the kidneys are, in AKI, all of them tend to go slightly awry. It can be further subclassified into stage 1, 2 and 3 acute kidney injury based on two parameters. First of all, it can be based on the rise in serum creatinine relative to the patient's baseline. So remember that creatinine is something that can be affected by a number of other factors in addition to renal impairment such as muscle mass, age and ethnicity. So it is important to compare the patient's serum creatinine to their usual baseline in order to see the change that has occurred. It can also be described based on the extent of a patient's urine output. So normally you would expect a normal individual with healthy kidneys to produce at least half a mil per kilogram per hour of urine. In other words, they should produce their body weight in milliliters every two hours. So the urine output and the creatinine can both be used to classify an AKI as either stage 1, 2 or 3. Regarding the causes of AKI, it can be described as either pre-renal, renal or post-renal. So pre-renal causes are generally driven by hyperperfusion, so when there's a reduction in the blood flow through the kidneys. So that can occur due to a number of different reasons, so hypervolemia, sepsis in which total peripheral resistance goes down and the perfusion of organs decreases, heart failure and also renal artery stenosis. Intrinsic renal causes on the other hand can be divided based on the components of the kidneys that are affected. So for example the glomerulus in glomerular nephritis, the interstitium in acute interstitial nephritis, uh, the blood vessels in vasculitis and various others like nephrotoxic drugs and rhabdomyolysis as well. And finally, post-renal causes are generally associated with some sort of obstruction of the urinary outflow. So that could include a ureteric calculus or something a bit lower down like benign prostatic hyperplasia or malignancy. The backflow of urine into the kidneys due to some sort of obstruction downstream can lead to a reduction in the rate of filtration of the kidneys. Mm -hmm.